What's up guys and welcome to episode 10 of my Everything Career Mode. We have our match against Southampton um, at St. Mary's Stadium. The lineup we will be going with is our stronger, strongest lineup. Um, we have Balassi, Lukaku, Delfeu up front with Barkley, Cashmere, Dyer in the middle. Baines is back from suspension. Williams, Jags in the middle. Coleman on the right side. And then I'm going to give Stecklenburg a shot and goal since he does have three clean sheets in this Premier League season. So we can see if he can get himself another. Let's jump into the game. So here we are at St. Mary's Tyler. Stadium. Um, we are currently sitting third in the we table right now, as shown in last game. episode. And hopefully we can keep on climbing to that number one spot. Uh, the board does expect us to finish top four this season, and that's what we plan on doing. Uh, I'm giving the captain's armband to Seamus. Uh, this entire season because I just think he's going to do a good job and I think I'm going to end up selling Jagielka in the January transfer window. Um, not sure yet. We'll see. But there's the standings. Like I said, currently at third. One point behind United. Two points behind Stoke. Um, South, I don't know where Southampton is on the table. They didn't show, but I'm sure they, they have a strong lineup out for today's match Here's the Southampton team for you. Uh, there you go there is their lineup James McCarthy who we sold to him and actually they're not starting Buffal or Forster or some of their regular starters it's kind of interesting but let's go ahead and jump to kickoff they'll kick the ball off and here we go might be in some trouble here. Wow, what a shot by Southampton. Was that Shane Long? I think it was. How did I know that was going to happen? It was two on four. I was like, he's going to try a long range shot. And it's just beat Stecklenburg. That was Charlie Austin. Mind that, not Shane Long. What a strike by Charlie Austin. We're down 1-0. <coughs> <coughs> Good find to Gerard. Gerard, can he beat him? He finds, oh gosh, I was trying to get to Lukaku. And we just, oh my gosh, why did I not shoot it right there? How did he not find Lukaku on that wasn't trying to pass it to Balassi. Here we go. Foul, sir. Sir, that's a card. Thank you, sir. Yellow card to the goal scorer. I just, couldn't, just can't find feet in the attacking third, man. Story of my life. And there's the halftime whistle. Just an unlucky long shot for us that goes in for Southampton. That was really their only chance the entire first half. Um, you'll see. Let's go to the match facts. We've had two shots on target. We just can't get anything in the attacking third. Oh, haven't had a single shot on target. That's got to change, guys. That's got to change. So we'll jump into the second half. Come on, boys. Let's get ourselves a goal. In the second half, well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been in it. Shot off. Ambitious oh, effort by Lukaku, but I, we need a shot on target, boys. Come on. All he needed was a cool head. Lost the ball as well. Uh, got to work hard to try and get it back. Bad passes, folks. Bad passes. They'll kill you every single time. Like there. There we go, and we tie it up. What did I say? Bad passes, man. Bad passes will kill you. And Southampton made a bad pass, and we made him pay for it. What a finish by Gerard. What a find by Lukaku. The Everton fans are going nuts. 
I thought he may have been offside, but they didn't call it. Tied it up. Come on, you Blues. Let's score another and come out of this come out of St. Mary Stadium with three points. So away we go at one all. Nice find by Romelu Lukaku to Belassi. Belassi will cut inside. May find Rom back again. Rom back to Belassi. Belassi shoots. Oh, and it just goes wide. I don't know if Southampton got a foot on that, but no. Belassi just sends it wide. What a good bit of play there from Lukaku and Belassi. And Southampton's bringing on um, Sofiane Buffal, the five-star skiller for Shane Long. Probably adding some pace up top. That, oh, sir. That was a clean tackle. They're not even going to give me a card. Come on, sir. That was all ball. That was all ball. If they score on this, I'm going to be so pissed. And they shoot it over. Thank you. Thankfully, they shoot it over. That, I don't think that was a foul. A substitute. They might have shot. Oh my gosh, I thought that was going in. But luckily, it didn't. Oh no. Oh no. Poor, bad defending. Charlie Austin again. What was I doing there? I just want him to run straight into the box. Finds Gaia. That should be a foul serve. Sir, how are these not fouls? Come on. We don't have Barkley, so Lukaku's our free kick taker. Now we're going to use Gerard. Gerard just couldn't get it down. Come on, Raph, don't blow the whistle. Just give me a shot. Come on, get the ball. You have to get the ball if you want to score the equalizer. Come on. Oh, my gosh, foul on us. That's it. That's game over. That's so annoying. You have to grab the ball. Defender to it first. There's a foul whistle. We win 2-1. We lose. Sorry, we don't win. We lose 2-1 away, and that's so frustrating. We cannot just win away in the rain. Those are our two. We only get one shot on target. We just can't play in the rain, and we can't play away. We now have our match in Sunderland in the EFL Cup. Um, the only teams remaining in the EFL Cup are, looks like Arsenal move on, Tottenham, and then we will play the winner of Wolverhampton and Newcastle. <coughs> Excuse me. We will be going with our EFL Cup lineup. And that will look like this with Morales, Pulisic, Schneider, Rashford, Bezic, Gaia, Jags, Oxford, Coleman, and Baines. And actually, we're going to change. We're going to put holding at right back. Actually, we're going to put Tyus Browning at right back and bring Holding on for Coleman. And we are going to give Belassi a break and put Barry on and put start Barry instead of Guy. So that will be the lineup. Let's get into this match. Here we are in the semi-finals of the EFL Cup at Goodison Park. It is raining, our arch nemesis, the rain. But hopefully we can put that game, that last game behind us and focus on this EFL Cup run and get the, get the win here so we can advance into the semi, or the, yeah, semi, sorry, this is the quarterfinals, semifinals. So here we go. Yeah, 2-1, it was, it was a fairly close run affair and I think they can, they can make amends here and I think they can get the win. Quite a few changes for Everton. Nice. And right off the bat in the second minute, we find Schneider and he will put it in the back of the net. He was wide open in the middle. It was a great race. A 
And he just slots it home. Already a good response from that last game. Steven Pienaar, the ex-Everton man. Oh, they find De De uh, Defoe, but he just shoots it over the crossbar. It's good having a lot of depth to the squad for these cup runs like this. A lot of these guys don't get a chance to play. Um, Schneider uh, contacted us and saying he did. He, oh my gosh, Shaggy Alka. What are you doing, Shaggy Alka? Come on, Donovan, you can save this. Puts away the There's no way saving that. Sunderland equalizes it in the 12th minute. Barini with the good penalty. <sighs> That's, That's annoying. Shaggy Alka. You need to. I just think he's getting too old, like in real life. Uh, Everton's are want Everton fans are wanting to see him leave. Nice pass by Rashford. To Morales. And we can whip it in this time to Schneider. Oh, Schneider off the bar. Get the, oh my gosh. Schneider hit off the bar. Morales gets the ball to his feet. Oh. That's got to be our ball. How is it their ball? And there's the halftime whistle. 1 1. Not going to lie, Sunderland has looked a better half. Um, we do have about the same amount of shots on target. Possession's not that bad either. We just need to do better this second half, boys. Come on. There goes the whistle. Second half starting of this English League Cup quarterfinal. Well, we've seen just between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. Shit. They were hoping. Thank God I didn't get ahead on that. Come on, boys. We can win this game. Look how far they're pushed up. If we can just get a counter and not dilly dally with the ball. They're going to give us the foul there. Do I try to shoot it with Schneider? Ooh, nice hit by Schneider. What a save by Pickford. That was a lovely hit by Schneider. I'm going to win that. that. Rashford. One, one here. Use, your pace. Use your pace. Use your pace. Use your pace. Oh my gosh, I just couldn't find the rebound. I see you, Schneider. Just beat him, Schneider. Just beat him. Sir, that's a red. That is a red. That is a blatant red card. Reach that back pocket. You're not going to give a foul for that? Oh my lord. Yes, Baines! Baines with the 90th minute winner! Baines! I think that guy had deflection, but... Let's see the replay on that. It did. It, it nicked off the defender's foot and went in the back of the net. I don't know if that'll be an own. They're counting it as an own goal, but Baines, that's all Baines right there. But it's a terrible time for conceding a goal of any description. The 90th minute winner. He'll be so annoyed with himself. <coughs> wow. And we move on to the next round of the EFL Cup with. It's not on goal. That's Bane's that's Bane's free kick all the way. What a beauty of a kick. I'm lucky I'm fortunate for Sunderland, but we will move on to the next round. They only had one shot on target, so they didn't really deserve to win that game. And there you have it. Wolverhampton won on penalties, so we, that's who we may have to face next. We'll see. We're going to go ahead and send to the next match. And then I'll talk to you guys there.
So our next episode will cons- will start off with our home match against Man United, who, as you see in the table, are two points ahead of us, sitting at fourth place. So that is really a must-win game for us. Arsenal moves to the top of the table, and Swansea and Stoke are right behind them. That bottom of the uh, table is still looking weird. I, that's the only thing I can... Re- Liverpool climbed up a little bit, but... Then, after that loss to Southampton, we didn't really go that far down. Southampton's right behind us, though, in seventh place. I actually got... This is interesting. I actually got the England job, or they offered me the England job. So, leave in the comments if you want... I know I said I wasn't going to do an international job, but, I mean, England's, like, one of the biggest teams in the world, so... Leave a, if you want me to do that, leave a comment or if you want to see me do that. And then um, Schneider needs some rest and Oviedo would like a chance to play. We'll go ahead and look at the calendar. And we do draw, um, or we have our match against Manchester United and Watford next episode. And then it looks like we have Arsenal next in the EFL Cup. So that's going to be... It's going to be an interesting game. So that's going to do it for today's episode. Leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.